Welcome to this Zentangle Quickie. My name is Heather Hartwick Ladden. I'm a certified Zentangle teacher. And today we're going to share another snowflake tangle. This is Snowflake 4 from CZT Barbara Duell Johnson. All right. They're all, all of all of Barbara's are just so neat. All right. So neat. And you know, it's it, what's interesting is I mean, really, if you think about it, there's, there are, well, just like Zentangle, there are five elemental strokes <laughs> and the, the unlimited possibilities are just amazing. And the same thing with these snowflakes, like I said, they're all just a little bit, they're different enough, um, to call them something different. And Barbara does, she numbered them and that's good. All right. Okay. So this one starts with an orb in the center of wherever you want it. Now this one I found a little bit on the challenging side because we're going to start off, well, after the orb, that part was okay. The next part, and actually, and after doing it a few times, it was fine. So we're going to make um, like a diamond, an elongated diamond. So I'm going to start, I'm going to do north. I might do north, south. We'll see. I would say do whatever way is comfortable with you and kind of the way she has it, it's just slightly curved lines. If you think of it that way. So one slightly curving to, uh, that would be the right one slightly curving to the left. It doesn't matter if they're, however they turn out, it's good. And you know, you decide how, how far up you want them and then same thing, you know, but then have those curve lines coming together in my mind. If I think that way, I'm more okay because <laughs> otherwise if I think I'm, oh, do a diamond. It's like, no, it, oh, it just doesn't work. All right. So same thing. And, and I find it fine to just kind of do the north, south, and then I can sort of kind of line them up. And we, I mean, part of the steps are we going to, we are going to, I uh, can't talk, um, aura inside. So you kind of, you want to have them a little bit wide but not too, too, too much because we do want to, we're going to put two more on each side and we're going to want to be able to stick a line, uh, in there. Now, uh, I, part of me goes to the analog clock thought. Um, and I, I or, or it's just, I've gotten a little bit better at being able to place two things in this space. Um, if you think analog clocks, sometimes, you know, that makes it easier, right? Uh, the, the youngins, <laughs> they might not know what that is. <laughs> well, we got to learn them then. All right. All right. So I'm just, I'm going to come here. Some of it is just like, okay, I'm just going to, I'm shooting for here and it's just going to work out fine. And that's just what I end up doing sometimes. And then, you know, so I have it this way and then I can pretty much just, you know, do it. Here's a, this is a new North South. And again, leaving a little bit of space in between those corners. And then if they don't line up, that's okay. Just keep it going until it does. All right. Last bit. And then two, if they're not evenly spaced, this is entangle and it doesn't matter. It's all good. Sometimes I would try to do, and if you can do it all in one stroke, by all means, I just find it easier. Um, well, sometimes maybe one side it can go a curve line and then a curve line. But for this, I just found it a lot nicer to just take a minute breathe as I'm doing it, slow down, and then they turn out pretty okay. All right. Next step, as I mentioned, is we're going to aura inside. And here too, I wouldn't worry about you know, like, well, you'll see, I have some odd shapes and I just don't worry about it. You know, pick the, uh, the distance of your aura and you know, you do your best to stick with it. And that's that. Yeah, like this one. <laughs> and 
I bet you're saying to yourself, yes, because in the end, it doesn't matter. Because <laughs> that's what I was just thinking. I'm like, oh, I, I, I'm saying it too many times. <laughs> oh, all right. And there's that. Next. We're just a straight line. So in between these. And, of course, up to you how far up you go. Ooh, that one I extend. I'm going to have to extend the other ones. Because I was just thinking, you know, I have, I, it's kind of a little off center. So maybe I can compensate. So I'm going to, I'm going to put those other ones out farther. And that's the nice thing. And if you have to do that, just very carefully, I, I think take off and land. So I kind of use this as a runway and I'll start here. Actually, what I noticed as I was doing, I kind of, I, I it's almost like I'm landing the pen nib right on there. And it, so I kind of go down slowly as I'm doing it. Um, it's just kind of funny. Oh, that one's a little too long. Oh, well, okay. I'll make them all that way now. Well, let's just start there. Last bit here is to put an orb on the end of that. And then a couple curve lines coming out. I am going to, I'm going to extend these all. And that's what we do when you go, oh, okay, well, that's different. Just, you know. Whatever you do, do it consistently. <laughs> and then don't tell anybody. <laughs> it's our secret. I could probably put another set of those, um, this little like kind of curved V if I wanted to. I'm going to look and see what, it, see how much I like it. I'm trying to make those little things bigger. Look at how neat that is. Yeah. I could, you know, I'm going to do that. I'm going to go around. I'm going to do one more. Just because that's, you know, that's what we can do. Oh, look at that. Duh, love it. Okay, so then, you know, play, shade, whatever you want. I'm just going to add some shading and, ooh, but wait, let's do this first. I'm going to thicken, oh, which side? I'm going to thicken this side. Just in the center. Look at how that adds something, <laughs> some depth. And if you just think tracing over, then, oh, the, well, okay, this is me. I think, oh, I'm just going to trace over it, and then I don't get myself into any trouble. Like that. I mean, it's, it's enough that I, you know, get that much. <laughs> And it just, like I said, it just adds a little bit of, of depth to that. Mm. Honestly, oh, let's see. I mean, it could do to the outside. And then I'm thinking, would I do it to this side? Or would I do it to that side? Huh, I'm going to ponder on that. And uh, let's just do a little bit of shading and we'll do it to this side. So I'm just putting some graphite on that same side that I, you know, added a little thickness. You know, and what's so fun is that same thing. It's not really going to matter, but you know, if you, I wanted to have it, have a little certain look that's in my head. I was just trying to think it out a little bit. Oh, look at how neat that is. 
I think that's correct, though. I in my head. <laughs> okay, so we're just going to do it. We're going to go for it. Okay, so thickening this side. And again, just doing, yeah, yeah. The trace over. And again, I just want, I felt like I wanted to give it some depth. Another way you could decide which way, at least to start with, or whichever way is, you know, if there was one side that you're like, yeah, that, that, that needs to be fixed. And then you start with that and you figure out, well, what, what shall I do to make myself happy with, you know, whatever it is. And that's where you can say, well, hmm, if I, like this, if I just thicken that side, would that help? Hmm. Do I need to just fill the whole thing in? <laughs> oh, yes. I like that. Okay, now... Okay, the orbs. Mm. I always get myself in trouble with those. Well, because here's the thing. If I don't like it, guess what? I can just fill the whole thing in. It's okay. This one because it went a little I had that little bump. I'm just gonna leave it. Okay, very good. And oh well wait, I'm gonna use what's left on the tortillon. Could add just a touch. Oh, and then there's the center of graphite on the one side. This is center. Let's just put a little a C shape. Now here's the thing. I could just leave it like that, and I think that that looks just fine. And I'm gonna, that's exactly what I'm gonna do. <laughs> you could, you know, use the tortillon on it, but sometimes just adding some graphite, and that's it, and it's fine. So I hope you enjoyed this. So much fun. Um, just so much fun. All right. Uh, if you enjoyed it, would love it if you click on the like button. If you liked it enough to see more, please subscribe to the channel. Feel free to leave comments. I, I do try. Uh, we've had a, just a kind of crazy week, so I'm a little behind in, in, in responding. But I always try to at least say thank you on there. Um, you know, feel free to share and all of that kind of thing. All I appreciate Eddie and all of those activities because it helps the whole algorithm stuff. And that, uh, you know, it just helps to spread, spread the word. So I appreciate it. All right, in the description section, you will find links to the step outs. I always do my own version and then I link to the uh, creator of the tangle. So you'll see that. Um, below that is my link tree and that has links to all kinds of things. So uh, my website where you can follow my blog, um, Facebook page where you can uh, follow me there for class postings, daily tangle, things like that. Um, also, if you'd like to hang out with a bunch of amazing Tangle addicts, super fun, super supportive group of people, um, we would love to have you. There's a, a link there, and there are four questions that you must answer in order to gain entry. It just kind of gives the idea of, uh, here's what we're looking for as far as group participation. You can just be a lurker, and that's fine. Um, but, you know, just it gives you, you know, here's what we're looking for as far as a group goes. Um and what else do I have in there? Uh, oh, links. So if you're interested in classes, there are a couple of links uh, to outside places that I post. Um, and other social media and stuff like that. So with that, thank you so much for watching. And I wish you happy tangling.